So this week I'm participating in the Social Mobility Foundation. Engineering residential. I'm having a great time. My name is David Johnston. I'm Chief Executive of the Social Mobility Foundation. That's a charity that helps young people from low-income backgrounds into universities and professions like the engineering profession. We do that by giving them mentoring, internships, help with university, help with skills development throughout their education so they hopefully graduate and enter the job they always aspired to do. Three years ago we were really excited to begin a great new partnership with CH2M to really support our aspiring engineers from the age of 16, 17 years old who really want to work for firms like CH in the future but don't get the opportunity to experience what doing that is really like. We bring them from all over the country to CH's London office to really inspire them and show them what they need to do if they want to pursue their interest in that profession. So we've got 20 SMF students with us this week and if we could get half of those to walk away at the end of the week really thinking seriously about a career in the STEM arena, I think that would be really powerful. That would be a huge success for them. Today is day two of the SMF programme and the students have been paired with their mentors for a day of shadowing. So I have with me here Maxwell who is my mentee. Seanette's been going through the GIS software that she uses. I found it really interesting to see how they use different layers to show the different flood defences on the River Thames. A couple of years ago we had a speaker come into uh, my school for an assembly and uh, he was involved in the building of the Olympic Park and he spoke about how the velodrome was constructed and that really piqued my interest in engineering. Uh, this week I'm hoping to be more resilient in the way I tackle problems and also to learn problem solving skills. Julian's going to be shadowing me for a day, um, learning what it is I do as a project manager but also what it is I used to do as a civil engineer and how that has transitioned from one role into another. I wanted to do the programme to uh, find out whether engineering was the right thing for me and to find out what I need to do to take the steps to get into this profession. Um, I'll be mentoring him over the course of a year, uh, just giving him some advice on his post-18 options and what skills would be useful to develop. The important thing about this week to me is that I'd like to find out what the right career path for me is, and I think it's really going to help me. Um, I'm excited to be a mentor because uh, I wanted to um, pass on the knowledge and skills that I've learned over the last 15 or so years um, and get into helping young professionals get into their career. So today I've met Morgan, who's my mentee this year. I'm hoping to get a lot more skills out of this week, such as transferable skills and a lot more experience as an engineer. By asking Ben questions, I can gain the knowledge I wouldn't be able to otherwise. Being here this week is going to have a massive impact on my future. The first talk that we had was on a nuclear engineering by a, a nuclear engineer. He told us all about his experience and we found it uh, quite informative. There was a lot of surprising stuff that we hadn't heard about before. Uh, we played a game in which we simulated disposal of radioactive waste. So the ping pong balls represented radioactive waste and it was just to get us thinking about the, the, the things that people working at nuclear power plants take into mind when disposing of radioactive waste. So we had to think about quite a lot of things. It was fun. Talking to the students this morning about transferable skills, um, teaching them what they are and how they can apply them in real life, whether that's through UCAS application, job interviews or job applications. To help them understand what transferable skills they already have, we use the SCAL method. So that is the situation, challenge, action, result and learning. So they take what they've done, whether it's a Saturday job or at home, and they make that into a transferable skill they can go on to use in the future. And then we also played another game which is a, like a speed talking game. So they took what they've learnt today and they lined up in two lines and they um, told their partner what they learnt and then it went round in a relay so everybody managed to speak to everybody else. So we just had to reflect on experiences that we've had and what the learning curve was and it's been really useful in recognising what talents we 
we had, even though they may not be directly related to engineering, we can still use them in the workplace. Earlier this week we did an Olympic simulation project where we had to imagine we were dealing with stakeholders and we simulated what it was like dealing with the Olympics in London. It was really fun because we got allocated roles such as uh, community representative, IOC members and we uh, had some discussion and we opposed some parts of it and supported and, uh, other parts of it so it was interesting to see how we could all come together and create one final presentation where we would all agree on which aspects of the park to cut to gather enough funds to create the Olympic Park and now that we're actually here at the Olympic Park which is right behind me and the aquatic centre is to my right it's a really enjoyable experience to actually finally see the park We're going on a boat to see the Thames Tideway project and on the way we'll get to see lots of the London sites. Uh, one amazing fact I learned today is how much sewage actually goes into the Thames and how much it would actually require to clean it all up. So after the tunnel is constructed they hope to have the Thames River 97% cleaner after three months. The, the scale of the programme that I can't believe is 7.2 metres in diameter, it's like wow. Three buses can fit inside, it's amazing. Yeah, it's been really interesting and there's a lot of fun facts that are quite impressive. I didn't realise the Thames was that dirty before, but uh, uh, despite that it has a lot of wildlife, which is uh, something new for me because I, I wouldn't imagine it would. This week has given me a much greater understanding of engineering and what it involves. I think one of the highlights would be learning more about the engineering field as a whole instead of just like one specific section and just generally learning more about what you would do as an engineer. Yeah, this week has been a great networking opportunity to make some very useful contacts that can help set you up for the rest of your career. We're quite fortunate to be here. I mean, without it, how would we get this experience? Yeah, uh, yeah I would recommend this program to others. It's a great experience. You have to learn loads of new things and meet new people.